Hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. As you can see we're staying in yet another hotel during this what I'm calling rebuild and recover phase of my life. We're in Florence, actually just outside of Florence at Villa La Massa and I am currently in the middle of production days. Uh, we are filming something really exciting for the mall which is um, kind of a luxury outlet just outside of Florence which you will see very soon. We're currently in Florence shooting something very special that I cannot reveal too much but we're shooting now for two days and we have two more to go so it's like a proper proper production. I wanted to give you a room tour because we're back at room tours and back at you know all the good stuff. So this is just outside of my room and it's insane. And then as you enter, it's not a room, it's basically like a whole apartment, a little study area, which will be very useful because I am actually not alone here. Vlada is here too, and we're working on projects and things. The bathroom completely stole my heart. This is my look. I don't know why, but I'm lately really into wearing black. My favorite song with long shorts. And that's what I'm very excited because tomorrow I will bring you with me to the mall where they have um, San Lomo outlet. I don't know why my hair is curling up. I also need the haircut, but I just need to find time to do it because I'm very, very busy. The bathroom is stunning. My beauty bags are here. I don't know if you remember, in my last video I said, it's so crazy how I feel right now about luxury. And even though I have some new handbags and even new makeup bags, I'm still not getting around to using those. I don't know if that's weird, but it's just like, I think, a process of me trying to understand everything. Anyway, clearly still haven't got the new beauty bags in use. We have a stunning shower. I think this, for me, is the most important part. I love a good shower. Here, a bit of mess that I created. It's just my luggage, so I'll cover it up. And then the bedroom, which is really, really stunning 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 and i also got some gifts it's from the mall so it was really exciting and i'm gonna open it now long story short we're outside of florence gonna have a quick bite gonna go for lunch um not for lunch i'm gonna go for some shopping in florence even though i just said that i'm not sure how i feel about shopping and stuff this still remains but when i'm in florence i have to go visit chanel since i have a very very good relationship with uh, Florence Chanel boutique and I would not miss going to pay them a visit so literally quick bite going to Piazza della Signoria and I will take you with me of course as always. Also guys in the process of rebuilding my collection and everything else have you seen that I received this beautiful gift from Miu Miu? I love this beautiful summer bag and it's the first orange bag now that I have so that's very exciting. I quickly changed my look. I'm wearing an incredible Valentino dress. This dress is like beyond the way it's made. Can you see? It's so beautiful. And the reason why is because when life is difficult, I always want to look the best. Okay guys, we're now at Piazza della Signoria, which is the most beautiful square when it comes to architecture, I think in the world. Remember that it's I once did before, like, a name top three most beautiful cities in the world. Vlado, which are your top three most beautiful cities in the world? Barcelona, Paris, Firenze. <laughs> there you go. So, I think that people say that the most beautiful square architecture-wise is Piazza della Signoria. And I mean, of course, you know, you have, like, uh, Michelangelo. Like, even though if it's not a real David, it's still, you know, it's still something. I will show you the square first because the art is incredible. And, I, I mean, I always love coming back here, but I want to know what is your favorite square in the world? <laughs> Write a comment below. And after my Chanel appointment, Vlado, we can even go and have a drink at the Gucci Garden, oh, which is here in Florence. So, look at this square, guys. I don't think it gets much better than this. I'm having my appointment just here, as you guys can see me. I need so many things. I need a wallet. I need a lot of pieces to get. Now with ice cream, it what did you buy? Be, it's not supposed to be shopping, just want to have a look. But why do you have so many paper bags? This is for presents, so every, ah, every, every is little a notebook I can wrap Love it, it And you know what Gucci merchant What is this, is? a candle? So this is a beautiful candle for um, my girlfriend in Munich. And then I, I got sunglasses, it. always when I go of to course. Gucci Garden. 
gonna buy new sunglasses. And how's the ice cream going? Amazing. It's a gelato, grande gelato. Yummy. Okay, where mm. are you heading next? Where are you heading next? Are we done or not? We're actually supposed to do a picture. Okay. Right? Go, go. I'm, he I'm <laughs> running as well, this way. But you can do, uh, you can try. I, I'm, I don't feel like ice cream, but which way is Duomo? <laughs> which way is Duomo? I need someone serious here on the team. Is this she, pistachio? She said she didn't want to Pistachio? Have Coffee. Okay guys, shopping done. I ran into Vicky now, she's also shopping, clearly. But actually we're shopping tomorrow as well, so I don't know how this is gonna go. And I hope I'm in even the right direction, which doesn't look like it. Okay, this will work. Okay, now I don't need Google Maps anymore because I managed to get on to the main kind of like um, Kalimala, like where I know where I am, like Elisabia Roma is here, the shops are here, Prada's here. You know, I basically orient myself like that in the cities, don't tell anybody. I went shopping, I shopped, but you cannot see that because I did not want to carry around any shopping and I was feeling very strange about it. So what I did is uh, basically ask them to deliver. I have holidays planned and I don't have anything, like any bags, any kind of like things to bring with me to holidays. So basically, I feel like it's a bit of a crazy situation because I need to get a few pieces before the holidays and do I feel like shopping right away I'm not really sure but I found some pieces I'm not I don't want to buy anything just for the sake of it like I really need a wallet I don't have a wallet currently my cards are all over my bag and that's not good my mom would not be happy but I don't want to buy a wallet just to buy a wallet I want to buy a perfect wallet I saw two bags today that I thought were very special rare colors pieces one was like the newest collection and one of them is like a pre-SS from Chanel, but a very rare piece. It's the last one in Europe, and you know how much I love rare pieces. We're at Villa Altino in Tuscany somewhere. It took us 45 minutes to get there, and we were like in the car, okay, it better be worth it. It was so worth it because it's stunning. You haven't really seen my outfit yet, but I'm wearing a Toto. Where's such a look? Wait, let me show you. So, this is what I'm wearing. This is the green dress from the show. First the sandals, the chain sandals, which are insane. The green dress from the fashion show, which actually comes with the red bikini underneath that is supposed to poke a little bit out. Just, you know, casually, double straps, as you can see. And this pink um, Titan Medusa, I mean, insane bag. And now we're gonna have a picnic or what they call a chicknick. Oh, this is so beautiful. Love it. Oh, wow. What a... I love it. And look at this like carpet. This is a proper chicknick. And we are having a little picnic moment here at the sunset. It's the most beautiful view you can imagine. Glass of rosé and that's the best Italian food. I think this is what we deserve. Right, Vicky? Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to somewhere in the middle of Tuscany. I woke up earlier than the schedule because I really wanted to have a little bit of time to do the emails and have my coffee. You guys know how important my morning coffee is to me, so I really wanted to, you know, enjoy it. I did my makeup again kind of like how I do it when I want my eyes to look a little bit with a very 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 light color, cat wing and a bit of mascara like it. I will get Vlada to film the outfit but I'm wearing the Alessandro Rich floral dress and I think it's perfectly matching my new Miu Miu bag. I also have now my misoma necklaces these are my favorite i think these are so fun and so cute for summer i remember when i was in Cannes, eva cavalli told me like how much she loved them and she said that these are like so they go so well with my spirit and with my personality i will link them below so if you want to shop them i will leave the links for the turquoise the navy and the golden kind of i call this a flat snake but yeah <laughs> that's it then i also have new rings these are by fry powers i really really love them they come well i have quite a few different colors at the moment but i love this for summer and i even on this hand combined as you can see the green one with my two cartier rings and i have my 
Repossy Ring too. So this is the current mix situation. On my feet I have the only sandals that I had when we did uncle with my outfit, but it's just for the breakfast and then I will change. Actually I have two pairs of uh, shoes here. I have the black Valentino Atelier shoes which don't go with the outfit. And I also have the beige Valentino Garavani Roman stud uh, shoes, but because the like ground here is so uneven, I'm not wearing those because I don't want to ruin them. Now I'm going to grab the computer and go and have the best time of the day, which is morning coffee. I promised I will show you the outfit and I did not forget, but Vlada will now show you my look. So it's an Alessandra Rich dress and I'm wearing for the first time this bag that I'm so excited about. I think what a perfect look. I, we were just shooting a blog post for this because I want to update my blog. I know these slides, they don't really go with the outfit, but it's just for the comfort because around here, look, I'm not gonna wear heels for this ground. <laughs> with this ground. I'm not gonna wear heels, so it's just for the pure comfort because I was doing some emails this morning and now I'm gonna change, I think, maybe not, I don't know, I'll figure it out. We're going to the mall, so maybe a little bit of shopping wouldn't hurt, right? Just to show you a little bit of the view, I think it's so beautiful here, beyond, um, beyond point, like really so stunning. You get the river view, Oh, it's really relaxing. I, I, actually, I feel like this is really what I need right now. And uh, this is where we're staying, but my room is in a different actually area. And we have to go there now because I want to leave a laptop. Because I was working this morning on the emails. It's very much like this ground, which is why I did not want to wear my shoes that are more delicate. So beautiful. It's Villa Massa. Villa Massa. Sorry. We are doing color analysis, that's why I took my mask off, because we have to analyze my coloring, my lips, my skin, hair, everything. And at the end of this special session, we will understand what colors suit me best, right? Yes! And what I look true. best in, so I'm very <laughs> excited for this, because I never had color analysis before. I am very lucky. <laughs> me too. Checking your skin here. Even with the jewelry. Yeah. Let me I change think that the here. Gold suits me better. Yeah, because you are a little bit gold. Yeah, yeah. Even the pink gold is very nice for yeah. you. So this is gonna help me determine what kind of makeup yes, works it, better with me. And the colors. If the mm -hmm. colors uh, that you will wear, they are be, uh, they are going to be bright colors or soft colors. Okay. In this case, we see that the stripes are very strong, strong for you. Yeah. Too strong. We will see now, in this one, that they are a little bit better. But anyway, you have a medium-high intensity. Mm -hmm. It's You are in between both. Yeah. Okay. You see, because this one is too, too low, too muted, yeah. So, and now we know. And this one is too strong. Yeah. And that's why some, some persons that they make a very strong Maybe makeup, yeah. Sometimes they are a little bit too, too much. Too much. Yeah. yeah, and they are persons that they make a lot, a very strong makeup. And it looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. that's why it's, this is the, the responsibilities of this one, the aroma. That's okay. amazing. Full colors, uh -huh. the wrong colors for you. Yeah. And I you look get, like a clown. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and a little yeah. bit yellow on yeah. you, I don't know why, yeah. Now, this is your color palette. Now is less right. like a clown, you. right? It's more no, colors more in, in my harmony. harmony. Exactly. Yeah. Beautiful. Love <laughs> it. So guys, this is my color palette. We just established that I'm more into like borderline warmer tones, uh, but it's quite borderline and not very warm or very cool. So I'm often warm, deep, soft. Uh, you have some, you can borrow some colors to the winter mm -hmm. um, and that's why you, you are telling me that you are an, a neutral because you are in, in the border exactly of the, those two seasons. Yeah, so for the, in the winter you, are, you will borrow the, the pinks, the, the blue, that uh, an, another autumn they yeah. don't have it. Okay. And you have here the base of the wardrobe, accessories, gels, you, pink gold, uh, yellow gold, and a little bit less the, the silver. Yeah. yeah, but I know that in fashion we have to wear everything. Exactly, <laughs> so, right. 
And then for the eyes, yes, exactly the tones that yeah, you are that wearing are. now, yeah. And Actually, this is generally colors that I wear in beauty. Oh, I'm very happy yeah. about it. So, really? so you are very good doing uh, this it. job. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate you. it. Well, good evening, everybody. Today's been a little bit all over the place, and that is because I had a lot of work to do when we arrived at the mall. It was my first time uh, at the mall outlet just outside of Florence and truth be told I mean this is not sponsored but I am collaborating with the mall uh, on my Instagram account but this is just honest opinion I spoke last night with my best friend and she told me like oh my god you're going to the mall this is the place where I go every single Easter to go shop and today I went there I think this video might come across a little bit contradictory because I'm saying one thing then I change my mind then I change my mind but that is because my feelings are very contradictory right now in the morning I feel like this weekend I want to go to Capri in the afternoon I feel like I just want to spend in bed those days in bed in Milan then I feel like I want to go back to Paris and I feel like I never want to go back to Paris and these kind of feelings my sister says are like waves it goes up and down and up and down and it's a natural process after a big shock it's something like you know like this is how I feel okay you know when you have like let's say a ball like a metal ball and you hit it and it's making a sound and then it's vibrating and then you have to wait until it stops because it keeps vibrating or like a bell or you have to hold it still until it stops actually reacting that's how I feel inside right now I need to wait for everything to stop but anyway what I was gonna say in my previous video I told you that at the moment I don't really feel like shopping or I'm really confused what I want to buy however I do need product for my job and for my lifestyle I actually need stuff i need handbags i think in my collection like i said in the previous video i have i don't know around like it's very difficult because i don't even know actually what's left i have like eight bags probably and i actually it's quite hard like i sometimes get dressed i i get dressed up and then there's nothing that works with my outfit so as much as i love shopping and i feel like i need pieces we're kind of laughing about it but right now i have an orange bag a beige bag and a black bag and a white bag things that they left behind are either the things that i was very messy and you know blood of the things that they left are the things that how we were shooting they fell on the under the bed and that's why they stayed you know because the shelf and the bed were very close so they were buried under stuff so mess save us <laughs> <laughs> obviously now i i have plans i have trips planned and i don't have really any handbags that could work i hope this water noise is not gonna bother you but i did shop a little bit while I was in Florence just the things that I felt like I needed today we went to the outlet and I really saw some incredible things like at Margiela you guys know how much I love Margiela I saw this stunning coat that was on my wish list since before but it was completely sold out and I didn't get it because I just I just didn't feel it and I tried to explain to my manager and to Vlada why and I was saying you know I feel a little bit like I buy stuff and I spend money and then someone just gets and steals them after years of collecting those pieces and the money and saving for those pieces and someone just comes and steals them so it feels almost like pointless to shop it's very very hard to explain but that's how i felt but then contradictory i did buy some pieces and i also tried to explain the same thing to my boyfriend how confusing it felt we spent the whole day at the outlet and i got a pair of sunglasses which I definitely don't need because let me just tell you I don't have any jewelry I don't have many bags uh, I have all of my clothes and all of my sunglasses so I definitely didn't need sunglasses but you know I went to Gucci or Gucci as you guys know I like to say and I bought these sunglasses they were you know I hate to talk about prices but I think this is quite nice they were 950 euros originally and they were on sale for 190 euros so I thought this was an incredible save of almost 800 euros let me try them on and show them to you I think this is the shape that suits me and I really really like them because they don't have any logos anywhere they're just fully can you see they have a lot of crystals in the front 
on the sides and they're a little bit of a cat eye sunglasses I really love them and they came in this like velvet pouch so that's all I got at the outlet I tried many things pieces handbags I went to Saint Laurent can you believe that I went to Saint Laurent and I didn't get anything that is shocking besides that of course as you guys know I went to Chanel yesterday and I got a few pieces and I'm thinking whether or not I will include it in this video or perhaps in the next one good morning everybody I have realized that lately I'm really trying to talk to you guys but I get distracted by my own thoughts is that normal when there's so much to express and you feel like you just can't put it all in a few minutes I also realized that my storytelling in this video is probably not the most accurate or right because we're working and I'm trying to vlog and I'm trying to show you where I am and what I'm wearing but it's not always easy my hair is half wet because I've just applied my Kerastase uh, night treatment which I applied in the morning <laughs> but actually doesn't have to be applied overnight I like to apply it, it smells beautiful and then I keep it in until the wash which is going to be today we finished three days of shooting, of producing, filming it was really, really cool we're leaving Florence today I'm sad because it's such a beautiful place but I'm happy because I cannot wait to be reunited uh, with my boyfriend and I am heading to Milan today I realized also that I haven't shown you something very important in this video I did tell you that I went to Piazza della Signoria for a little Chanel visit but I didn't show you what's in here it's like I said it's a kind of an ongoing process of me you guys take it always like if I say two it's like two I have here two bags I have the Jody from Bottega and I have um, Mini Kelly I also have the new Miu Miu that I just received from someone who would when I travel bring like seven eight bags to go to like two colors it's become a little bit it's different but am I used to it like already yes kind of however I have a lot of things planned I have a lot of trips and holidays and I wanted to get something special if I see something special so I think I'm gonna show you what's in there in the next video but until then I also wanted to tell you exactly what it is that I have got left in my collection because a lot of people are asking wait a second but how come you have a mini kelly on you like this is so weird why wouldn't they steal a mini kelly the answer is very simple to that question it's because i was wearing the mini kelly when we went out for dinner i'll insert a picture here i think i have a picture obviously um there is no need to lie about these things i mean it's all over the news and it's not something that you can just <laughs> makeup i mean i wish but no someone said like i can see on your bed there is a big chanel perforated bag yes that's correct and it's because i actually traveled with that bag i also try and find a picture of it because i texted my boyfriend i traveled with that bag recently and i put so many things in that i broke the chain on the strap so i believe that they saw it was broken and they didn't want to take it because they knew that they will not be able to repair a bag since it will have to go back to the Chanel boutique and potentially would be flagged as stolen. That's, for example, one of the reasons. So they're like, you know, I don't know the reasoning behind not taking all of them, but they even took like a little bags from kind of not so known designers. They took a Demore bag, which is a, like a relatively new designer. They took a, a little off-white bag, which I don't think it had a very obvious logo or like the Acne Studios bag, which also didn't have a very obvious logo on it. Uh, on the bright note, um, I feel like I'm slowly but surely getting in the mood to replenish, get back and yeah, like the bags that I'm currently, that I currently have with me are the Mini Kelly, the Beige Jody, the big one that you've seen me wear all the time, the Miu Miu orange one. I received a little um, woven thing from Prada. Oh, it's here on the bed, I'll show it to you. This is the Jody. Prada just sent me this as a gift and I really love it. I actually wanted to buy it for like summer. I think it's so perfect. It's like a woven one and it comes in many different colors. They sent me this and they sent me the water bottle. Um, so really really cute and there was another thing like a floaty but it's already packed in my bag I have I'm trying to think what I have in Milan so I have my Bottega Veneta cassette bag like at home in Paris I didn't bring it I have the beige Bottega Veneta pouch the yellow shell from Bottega I have the white Chanel top handle which I think looks a little bit vintagey or not to say old but it's the kind of leather at Chanel that is a little bit aged looking 
and I think that's the reason why they didn't want to take it. What Vlad and I were talking about yesterday, the Louis Vuitton vanity PM, because they like emptied everything from Louis Vuitton, including my hand luggage, my kipal, my boyfriend's kipal, uh, the makeup bags. So like you can imagine, I mean, like who steals makeup bags? I really will never understand this. But uh, the vanity PM, it fell from the shelf under the bed, so they didn't see it. So when we discovered it, we were very happy. Also something that I was very happy when I saw was the Saint Laurent pyramid clutch because it's rare and it's special and I love it very much and I wear it so often. So yeah, there's very few like random things that stayed behind because they didn't see it or whatever. But trust me when I say they even stole the samples, so the things that are not mine but they belong to the brands because I actually had to go to the Dior show. I had like, I had things going on and uh, I had samples because the brands were dressing me and they even took those. Before we go to the breakfast, I wanted to show you one thing. My computer is charging here, which reminds me also to say that no, they have not taken any electronics in the house, any, any, any. And I mean, there are even some other stuff that I didn't take that I find it very strange and I don't have answers to, but whatever. So at Chanel, as you can see, there are some things to unbox here, but there is one thing that I haven't, I don't, I don't think I purchased and I wanted to see what's in there, but I received a beautiful card. And it says, it says Benvenuta a Firenze, è stato un piacere poter, poterla finalmente conoscere di persona. A presto. So, yes, this is super, super cute. And then in here, I really want to open this because I don't know what's in there. It's in here and I'm curious because it seems to be heavy. <gasps> Oh my god, you guys. This is so beautiful. It's a Chanel notebook. But look how beautiful. It's the kind of matching one to my Chanel diary that now when you ask me, I don't even remember if I have still. I will have to actually ask somebody. I don't believe they would steal that, but then you never know because you can remove the filling out. This is so beautiful and I'm so grateful. Thank you so much, Florence Chanel Boutique. You guys are the best, always. Now, let's go and have breakfast. This makes me really happy. And actually I can start journaling and writing some thoughts because I really need to. Just wanted to say one thing, because I said, oh, the diary, the Chanel diary, I don't even know if they took it or not. I'm not quite sure. You might be wondering what, how can you be not sure? And honestly, guys, I will insert some pictures here of what the house looked like when we found it. You it was really horrific and i don't have a list to go through to be like okay so do i have this and do i have that and did they take this uh, is this in the house it's more like every day i think of something new that is gone like every day i'm like oh wait but this belt it was in the bag and they took that bag oh no so i lost that as well you know like every day there's something new that comes up and it's really hard to explain because also in these situations your brain is not thinking in that way so it's still in a bit of a mashed potato state but yeah hopefully you can understand that 